Hello and welcome to another ATN tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect the X8 4K or the Thor 4 to the Obsidian 4 app. So let's dive in. Uh, to start, you're going to want to go into the menu and turn on the Wi-Fi on the scope. So you press the center button OK and scroll over on the carousel menu. You can scroll pretty much to the left until you get to the Wi-Fi icon. Right now, mine is already turned on. If yours isn't, turn it on now. And once it's turned on, head over to the settings uh, icon, the wrench, wrench icon. So once you get to the settings, press OK. And then we're going to scroll over to the settings tab. So a couple of clicks to the right. And there we are, the settings tab. From here, you're going to want to go um, down three to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Once you get there, click OK. And from here, we're going to go into Wi-Fi info. So some more clicks down on the tab. And we're going to go into the Wi-Fi info. So click OK. And here on the right side, the submenu, you're going to see SSID. It's going to say X8 4K minus uh, 719B. This is going to be the name of the Wi-Fi network that you're going to be looking for on your phone. So when you hit um, settings and Wi-Fi on your phone, this is the, the name of the network you're going to be looking for. The password is going to be ATN Smart HD, all lowercase letters. So that's pretty much it. That's your uh, Wi-Fi network name and your password. Make sure that the Scopes Wi-Fi is turned on when you're going to be connecting to the Obsidian app. And now I'm going to go over to the phone and uh, show you how to connect to the phone. Okay, so um, at this point on, you should have the Obsidian 4 app downloaded from the Play Market. Um, and the Scopes Wi-Fi should be turned on. You're going to go into your settings. And you're going to go into network and internet and you're going to go into your Wi-Fi settings. So here, you're going to look for the scope name, uh, like I showed you just previously in the video. My scope is called Xsite 4K 719B. So we're going to choose it, and it's going to ask for the password. The password is ATN Smart HD, all lowercase letters. So let's type that in, ATN Smart HD, and click Connect. And just give it a few seconds, it'll say connected. There you go. So it says connected and no internet. That's absolutely fine, it's supposed to be like that. It just uh, shows um, that there's no actual like connection to the internet because you're connected to the scope and not a, like a Wi-Fi router. So once it's connected, we go back to the home screen and you're gonna go into the Obsidian 4 app. Click on it once and let it load. So from here, uh, you're going to click on the X site here uh, on this button. And there you go, you are connected to the Obsidian 4 app. I'll go briefly over the, um, the icons here. So system menu would be the first one, click on it. And here you can change all of the settings that are in the scope. Uh, you can change them here on, on the device. So it's very easy to use. You can set up your scope just through your phone. Now let's go back and we'll go into the next uh, slide left, go to the next one where it says environment. Tap on that. Here you can change like, humidity, wind speed, and wind direction. So go back and we'll go into profiles in zero. So when you tap that, you, there's going to be um, basically your profiles that you've already set up or created. Here I got like one for AR15 and a 223. Let's go like the current profile is AR15. Let's choose 223. And there you see the current profile has changed. But let's when you go into that current profile, we have the option of um, also setting up like drag function, ballistic coefficient, bullet weight, muzzle velocity, zero range, and sight height, like you can do in the scope. But you can also change the profile name. So when you hit profile name, let's, you can edit that. So we can go, for example, like a, let's go for, let's say a 308 setup, 308, click apply. 
And there you go, profile name has changed to 308. So the next icon will be vertical style. If you click there, you can see again, uh, you can change the, uh, the vertical color or the vertical style. So once you get the one you want, just click the back button to save. Next one will be viewfinder, which is the live view from the scope. It's very good to use. If you wanna get the live view from the scope, whatever uh, your hunting partner is seeing, you will see it on your, uh, on your device. So let's go back and we'll go into the gallery, the last one. Here you will see the, uh, let's see if we access your photo files, click the allow. And uh, you'll be able to see the photos and videos saved uh, on your scope. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.